Today's update is focused and specific. We have one new image of 3i Atlas, a confirmed radio analysis result, and a set of unrelated but notable space images captured today. We'll go through each one carefully, starting with the only new 3i Atlas image captured in the last 24 hours. This is the only new image of 3i Atlas captured today. It was taken on December 22, 2025, from Italy, using a 25-centimeter Newtonian telescope. The stack is aligned on the stars, not the object. That's why you're seeing two tracks. The shorter, diffuse track belongs to 3i Atlas as it moves against the background stars. The long, perfectly straight line cutting across the frame is an artificial Earth satellite. This distinction matters. The geometry, brightness, and alignment make it clear which track is natural and which is not. No enhancement, no interpretation. Just a clean, observational frame. Alongside the new images, there's also a major update on the radio search targeting 3i Atlas. This was the first dedicated radio analysis ever performed on this object, using the Allen Telescope Array. The goal was simple and very specific. Search for narrowband radio signals, the kind that cannot be produced by natural astrophysical processes and would stand out clearly against background noise. The observation covered frequencies from 1 to 9 gigahertz during a focused window shortly after the object's discovery. That scan produced a massive dataset, more than 74 million initial detections. That number sounds dramatic, but it's completely normal. Most of those signals come from Earth, satellites, aircraft, ground-based transmitters, instrument noise. So the team applied a strict multi-stage filtering process. First, they removed known interference-heavy frequency bands. Then they filtered for signals whose frequency drift matched the precise motion of 3i Atlas. Finally, they compared on-target and off-target beams to eliminate local sources. After all of that, only 211 signals remained. These were not detections. They were candidates for manual inspection. Every one of them was examined individually. The result? All 211 were conclusively identified as radio frequency interference, primarily from satellites or local terrestrial sources. No signal was found to originate from 3i Atlas. This non-detection is still scientifically important. It allows researchers to place the strongest upper limits yet on any possible radio transmitter associated with an interstellar object. If something is transmitting from 3i Atlas, it is quieter than current instruments can detect. That's not a failure. That's how careful science works. This image was taken on December 22nd during the winter solstice from cruising altitude over Greenland. What you're seeing here isn't a long exposure from the ground. It's an auroral arc viewed from inside a commercial aircraft captured through a window at roughly 35,000 feet. The green glow comes from charged particles colliding with oxygen atoms high in Earth's upper atmosphere, typically around 100 kilometers above the surface. From this angle, the structure looks flatter and more layered than it does from the ground. There's also a faint hint of pink near the edges. That usually points to higher energy interactions involving nitrogen at greater altitudes. This perspective matters. It shows how extended and vertically deep the aurora really is, stretching far above the clouds and well beyond what ground-based photos can capture. Same physics, different vantage point. This image isn't optical, it's thermal. What you're seeing here is data from a SATFU Earth observation satellite measuring heat in the long wave infrared. The bright orange and red regions mark abnormally high thermal output, not from weather, not from sunlight. This facility is one of the largest cryptocurrency mining centers in the United States. The labeled zones show concentrated heat signatures coming from rows of mining hardware in nearby electrical substations. The heat is strong enough to stand out clearly against surrounding infrastructure. This isn't a simulation, it's direct satellite measurement of energy loss. What makes this notable is scale. 
these systems convert electrical power into computation, and nearly all of that energy ends up as waste heat. From orbit, that inefficiency becomes visible. It's a reminder that modern digital infrastructure leaves physical fingerprints, even when it's designed to be abstract and invisible. And as thermal satellites become more sensitive, this kind of industrial heat signature is becoming harder to hide. This is a star cluster called Westerlin 2, and this image comes from the James Webb Space Telescope. What you're seeing is a stellar nursery, a dense region where hundreds of young stars are forming inside thick clouds of gas and dust. The bright white points are stars at different stages of life. Some are massive and already shaping their environment. Others are smaller, fainter, and just beginning to ignite. For the first time, this dataset reveals the full population of brown dwarfs in this cluster, objects too large to be planets, too small to sustain fusion like true stars. That matters because brown dwarfs tell us how efficiently nature turns gas into stars and planets in extreme environments. The red and orange clouds are gas being carved and pushed outward by radiation and stellar winds. The blue glow comes from hot, energetic stars lighting the region from within. Nothing here is static. Every filament, every cavity is shaped by feedback from newborn stars. This is what stellar birth looks like when you zoom all the way in. Messy, crowded, and incredibly productive. A reminder that even in the most violent regions of space, creation is the dominant process. That's where we'll leave it today. New images of 3i Atlas, fresh radio results, and snapshots of how active and dynamic our local universe really is, from interstellar visitors to auroras and star-forming regions. What do you think about today's updates? Does anything here change how you're looking at 3i Atlas right now? If you want me to keep tracking new 3i Atlas images as they come in and break them down frame by frame, let me know in the comments. If this kind of clean, evidence-based space analysis helps you, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone following the 3i Atlas story. More data is coming, and we'll follow it. One image at a time.